Okay, so we can do is we can we can do minus four row one plus row two, and we get one two zero zero, right? And, but over here we can do uh, row one, swap it with row two to get one two zero one, and then then. You can see already there's going to be a problem with them being real equivalent, but we could do uh, minus row um, minus two row two plus row one to get it to be one zero zero one, and you can see that these are not the same, so they're not row equivalent. And um, oh, something else too. Um, since every linear system has the same solution set goes to the same reduced rational form, that reduced rational form has a certain fixed number of free variables. That means if the family of that, that the, and in fact, it's gonna have the same free variables. So any linear system has the same solution set will have the same number of free variables. So, so that, you can't you can't have like different free variables. You can express it in different ways, but when you go to reduce fresh on form, the free variables are going to be the same. If if x and y are free for one system and they have the same solution, they'll be free for the other one. Okay. Uh, let's see if there's any more problems that would. Well, I guess, um, oh, I have an idea. Let's look at, for the last few minutes, what we can do is I can introduce you to the, um, see, here's the, here's the um, version, assignment one, version two, assignment two, version one, and here's a strategy guide for the proof that shows you how to get started on the proof. Now, um, so let's look at, Assignment two. So you can sort of see what the problems are for it. So you can find the due date on, on Big X for assignment two. It's like in two weeks, February 12th, I think. Okay, so the first one is you're doing gauss jordan reduction using augmented matrices, and you have so you have you just have linear systems here, right? You just have a bunch of linear systems for the first five. So the first five problems are relatively straightforward. Uh, you know, Gauss-Jordan method stuff, okay? Um, then you have, you have proving a conditional statement. So you have to sort of, you're going to go through and write a little essay in here that sh that shows, um, that proves, you know, it, it's messing with this stuff. So that's what you want to look at. It says, prove that where A, B, C, D, and E are real numbers, a, a, well, the language is here. I changed the syntax and didn't get the... It should be with a not equal to zero. If this linear equation has the same solution set as this one, then they are the same equation. Okay, so it's follow the strategy guide. So, so the first thing is it's a conditional it's saying you're saying if this linear system and this one have the same solution set, then they are in fact the same equation. Now look, it's not completely arbitrary. See, a and a are the same, and a is not zero. Okay, and what is it? You have to you have to ask some questions here that sort of in the background that aren't well defined. You have to sort of come, what does it mean to be the same equation? What concretely, in terms of these numbers here, A, B, C, and A, D, E, does it mean for them to be the same equation? And you have to then sort of say, what does it mean to have the same solution set? And you're starting from that. So you're starting from the same solution set and showing that these have to be identical equations so and the the strategy guide helps you get started thinking about that and organizing it so then there will only be like three or four sentences here so it's not it's not like a long thing but but on the other hand you have to it's sort of like you have to sort of go through and figure out what what you're actually doing okay so there's a strategy guide there okay then here's one that has a long instruction what it's basically going to say is um, reduce this to echelon form. 
then set the free variable to zero to find the particular solution. Then go back to the system in echelon form, set or set the constants to zero, solve the homogeneous system, write down the homogeneous solution, and then combine them to get the complete solution and verify that if you just went through and do it without doing all that rigmarole, that it, you got the same answer as just doing it from the Gauss-Jordan method. So it's just practicing that pattern of forcing you to look at the particular homo homogeneous solutions. And it does that for two systems. Here's two matrices. Which matrix is non-singular? Uh, one matrix is non-singular, but other is singular. Which is which? And then use the definition of text. Decide if these two matrices are row equivalent. So I think you sh she should sort of see that you you have, except for the proof, you probably have um, have been seen the ideas for the whole that are due in two weeks. However, there's there's ten problems, so you want to sort of start now and do the easy ones, right? And don't 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 wait until Saturday or Sunday um, of the the weekend that it's due. So do you know you have to sort of come up with a little bit of scheduling here. To, because you can probably do, if you just think of doing one of these, like this is just three variables, two equations, you know, you write down the augment matrix, do Gauss-Jordan method, you know, it's not, you know, don't, don't, don't delay, just do it, you know, do a little bit at a time. Okay.